Hello, thank you so much for tuning in to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to talk about image registration using deep features. I have already talked about image registration using saved features, but in this video, I'd like to use deep features for that purpose. Let's get started and see how we could do that. So in this video, I want to talk about image registration using deep features. Misregistration refers to the condition in which images of the same object do not directly overlay. The misregistration is mostly caused by translation and a bit of scaling resulting from aberration, noise, and so on. To resolve this issue, different types of approaches to image registration have been devised until now. In total, there have been two main methods for image registration, area-based and feature-based approaches. In one of the prior videos, I have extensively talked about these approaches. In that video, I use saved features for the purpose of image registration. But in this video, I am planning to use deep features. This method is the same as saved, but instead of saved features, CNN features are going to be used. CNN, which stands for Convolutional Neural Network, consists of an input and output layers along with hidden layers which are typically comprised of convolutional layers, activation function, pooling layers, and fully connected layers. The convolutional layers apply a convolution operation to the input data, extracting different types of features from it. Pooling layer, on the other hand, would combine responses of several neurons through finding maximum or average response. Fully connected layers also connect all the neurons in one layer to others in another layer. CNN has been used as both feature extracted and a tool for learning processes. The use of deep features extracted from pre-trained neural networks have been reported to be a very successful method in different areas of machine learning. This type of feature is extracted from the intended image using one of the deep layers of a pre-trained neural network. It has been shown that the features extracted have different invariant properties to a different types of geometrical transform, and they can carry deep learned characteristics of the object in the image, making them in some cases even better than SIFT. Even though the CNN features could be very useful for image registration, the possibility by which local features of an image can be extracted with X and Y coordinates associated with them is not straightforward. In other words, saved features are extracted from a specific position in the image with a known X and Y coordinate. However, in the case of the CNN features, the whole image is usually fed into the network and features of the whole image are extracted with no X and Y coordinates appended to them. In order to overcome this issue and extract local features from image, first different X and Y coordinates of the image whose feature is going to be extracted are randomly generated. After generating these coordinates, the image content around each coordinate in a square shape of size 60 by 60, with the coordinate being the center of the square, is extracted. Therefore, many small images are made from the main image whose features are going to be extracted. So now, all the small images have an X and Y coordinates associated with them. The same process is applied to all the images to be registered. Put it simply, all the images are first split into small images with an X and Y coordinates of the original image associated with them. Those small images are fed into the neural network to extract their deep features. Let us suppose one particular image was divided into 10 small images with 10 X and Y coordinates associated with them. After extracting their features, there will be 10 features with 10 X and Y coordinates appended to them. The pre-trained neural network used in this work is Inception ResNet V2, which is a convolutional neural network that is trained on more than a million images from the ImageNet dataset. The network is 164 layers deep and can classify images into 1,000 object categories, such as keyboard, mouse, pencil, and many animals. As a result, the network has learned rich feature representations for a wide range of images. The network has an image input size of 299 by 299. Therefore, the image whose features are going to be extracted should have the same size. This is the whole process using which we're going to extract local deep features of the image. 
using the proposed method a set of deep features of the image with x and y coordinates specified are extracted and put into use for image registration the rest of the process is the same as sift it is also worth noting that the second to end activation layer last redo activation function is used as deep features of the image and this is the inception resnet v2 so the last redo activation function this one is going to be used as deep feature now that we have extracted the deep features, those features in the reference and the test image are matched up. Then a mapping function is estimated transforming the test image to the reference one using the matched up features between the images. Using this approach, features from the test and reference images with the most similar invariant descriptions are paired as the corresponding ones. Similar to the prior video, image registration using SIFT features, RANSEC is also employed to set aside the outliers present, which helps us find the most robust set of features in the two images that we are trying to match up. I have extensively talked about how RANSEC is used to set aside the outliers in the data in the prior video, which is the seventh video on my channel where I talked about image registration using SIFT features, as I already mentioned. Again, the VLFeed library is also used. I highly recommend installing this if you haven't already done so. Let's go to MATLAB and see how we could do this problem there. So, everything is going to be the same as the last video, except for the deep features that are going to be used in this work. First, the image that is going to be registered is ready in and we're going to be registering all the channels to the middle channel, the green channel and the loops are going to go from one to the number of channel which is three here and the reference channel is going to be the green channel so first the channel that is going to be registered with respect to the reference channel both of them the reference channel and this and the other channel to be registered are going to be sent to the function find matches for in which we are going to extract deep features of these two images and then have them matched with each other Let's go to find match 4. I'm using VLFeed function again. I'm going to extract the SIFT features. I'm not going to use the SIFT features, but I just want to have some X and Y coordinates of the image that are randomly chosen using this function, VLSIFT. F1 and F2 are going to be giving me some X and Y coordinates of the image, and I'm going to use them points 1, points 2, which is from the, the first image, that's the image to be registered, and then the, the second image, which is the reference image as shown here. So now I have some points from two images, points one, points two, and the network that I'm going to be using is Inception ResNet V2, as I already mentioned. So the first loop is for the image to be registered. The number of loops that we're going to go through is according to the number of points that we have randomly chosen in the image. For each point, we're going to extract deep features from that point, but to do that, first we make a square around that point, and then we fit in that image into the network, and then we extract the second to end activation function, or the last redo activation function, and we use that as a feature. So it's going to go through a few points, and for all points, we extract the deep features using this coding here. We're not going to choose any point on the edge, because I want to extract the square and the size of the square is 60 by 60 and the features are going to be saved here along with the points one point worth mentioning is that this image is black and white but the input to the network should be rgb so i have to concatenate the image with itself to make it into a rgb image and then feed it into the network as shown here. The same thing is going to be done for the reference image and the points that I have randomly chosen in the reference image and the deep features of the reference image are going to be extracted using these points, using these codes here. At the end, the features are going to be matched up using this function and the matched up features are going to be assigned to these new variables which are matched point one and matched point two, first image and the second image. So right after that, which is here, the RANSAC is going to be applied to set aside the outliers, which is the RANSAC that I have already talked about in the former video, and I'm not going to cover much in this video. This would help us to set aside the outliers in our matched up features. And after that, we're going to come up with a transform matrix that would transform the, the image to the reference image, or the points in the image to the points in the reference image. Then we use the same matrix to transform the channel that we're going to be registering to the reference channel, which is IM1. 
and then right after that the image is going to be saved and it's going to do the same thing for the last channel because we only have three channels one of them is referenced so we're going to only register two of them to the uh, media one and then after that we are going to save it as uint8 and this is the output which is the registered image along with the original not registered image let's run and see what happens here is the output of the program you could see that all the channels have been registered to the middle channel in a very successful way as opposed to this image on the right side so this output shows how powerful the deep features could be especially when it comes to image registration that's about it thank you so much for watching this video I hope you liked it and you were able to get something out of it if you liked it I would appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel and also share the video with your friends thank you so much and have a nice day